I first started my diabetic eye clinic in Samoa about 10 years ago, I was frequently confronted with patients like this with bilateral dense cataracts and a vision of perception of light. They would have cataract surgery and the following morning at first dressing, the vision would be unchanged, perception of light. And there's nothing more disappointing to the cataract surgeon than such a result. The only way to avoid this unhappy outcome was to organise a B scanner. So I rang my good friend George Briscoe at Alcon and he made available this equipment. But the problem here was the logistics of transportation. There was no way the monitor was going to survive the journey, uh, let alone the uh, printer, and they had to be dispensed with. But I noticed on the back of the main CPU there are a couple of super video in and out sockets and this created all sorts of possibilities in terms of simplifying the equipment. At that time DVD recorders were just coming onto the market so I bought this one on special at Dick Smith Superstore and at the same time I bought a small DVD player that you use to control small children in the back of the car. This reduced the equipment to manageable proportions and back in Samoa this proved very useful. You can see it's set up on the dental chair on the left hand side of the patient. And this is precisely the sort of thing I was looking for. This is a diabetic patient with a dense cataract. He has a total trumpet detachment. And any surgery or cataract surgery would be quite pointless. The next advance came from the availability of laptops with DVD writing software. This is our current setup and all B scans are recorded in dynamic real time on DVDs. This gives a great deal more information than the usual standard static pictures. Also I do these things myself. B scanning lends itself to a great deal of operator error and unless one has a particularly competent technician it's best you do these things yourself This is the next advance, which is a handheld B scanner. It plugs directly into your laptop, and I hope to buy one of these next week in San Diego. I'll close with a couple of cases from my practice in Canberra. The first one is a man who presented with a painful eye for a fortnight. There was a long history of herpetic keratitis, and I felt there was a real risk of this perforating if it hadn't done so already. So I went ahead and put in a central tarsography. This went pretty well and uh, healed up nicely. Here he is. He's actually a local minor crime figure. I was concerned about the back of the eye and I did a B scan and this shows a choroidal detachment along with uh, a swollen disc there. So in fact he had at some stage perforated this ulcer. Over the next two months that subsided. Next case is a girl with a cataract in one eye. She'd been supervised by, by her optometrist and he noticed that in the left eye there was a poor pupil reaction. Her B scan shows a subtotal retinal detachment I say subtotal because she actually had perception of light. I sent her to the big city and uh, the cataract was removed and that retina was put back successfully in place, giving her a vision of 636 and a full field of vision. When doing 
B scans, I have a protocol in that I ask patients to look to the right, the left, up and down and so on. And this gives me the ability to accurately localise the various pathologies. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.